Michael, this is called Brian Cowan and the Adventures of Grania McGrew. <laughs> they were singing the rover, they were singing it loud, the people of Offaly, so faithful and proud. On the steps of the Oris, the large crowd did wait. It was the 7th of May in 2008. For the buccal from Clara had just come of age to be the leader of Aaron on the highest of stage. Some said he was only good for singing Camalias, but what an honour to bestow on the people of Ufalia. Now amongst the vast crowd that followed him round was one special lady from a place called Gortagown. She had a soft spot for his gruig so curly, his eyes of Doc Gurum, his arms larger and burly. You see, Grania McCrew was a Cowan fan for years, and when they called him a biffo, they had her in tears. For her, forget Enda, sure Brian was the best. She even had Lisbon tattooed on her chest. She might have a tattooed twice, the way things are going. Way back in November, he was on a night out. He was in Tullamore, a goal, few pints of stout. We got in a canoe inside Brewery Tap, when along came our Grania, and she sat on his lap. Oh, Brian, dear Brian, my God, how I missed you. Come back to me in Gortagown, or me heart will be brished it. I've land that you'd die for, and a fine turf filled shed, and it's been quite a while since I'd a fire in me bed. <laughs> she saw him then on Sky, and she longed for him again. He was meeting Gordon Brown beyond to number 10. So she washed her face and hair and put on her goon a fine, and she took a flight to London after booking it online. <laughs> Ta Falcha wrote a Colleen, says Brian to Grania McGrew. This here is the Prime Minister, whose face I'm sure you knew. <laughs> I know his ugly mug, she said, and she began a gyra, but it's you a grow I'd love to paw and drag you up me styra. <laughs> she appeared again at Stormont when he met with President Bush, past all the tight security, or Grania, she did rush. Come on, Mr. President, will you forget about Iraq? I dearly want the Taoiseach in Gortagown on the flat of his back. <laughs> Now, if you were Mrs. Cowan, you'd be going off your head, worrying about her grania, trying to take poor Brian to bed. But rest easy there, dear Mary, I've news to tell to you. For all may not be what it seems with this floozy Miss McGrew. You see, no more she'll bother Brian, no more she's free to roam. She's out of the five roads in Banner and Martin Lines' nursing home. <laughs> For at 99, she's looking fine, but in her head there rings a bell. And how her eyes light up when she hears the tune of the town I love so well.